<laughs> Take one. Ray of the tray. Marco Marco Fury. Atelier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me warm it up. Oh, oh, yeah. It'll get better, watch. It's Raya in a versus versus herself. Oh, 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 oh. My name is Raya Latreya, and we're about to get into my dirty laundry. <laughs> Are you ready, bitch? Because I am waiting. We are here live in Los Angeles, and this is the Los Angeles home for Quarantine Tween. Tween? For, You're a group yeah, office. Quarantine Tween. <laughs> for Quarantine Queen Drag Show. Um, this is the LA office right here at At Studios. Um, and we go live every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay. celebrating inclusivity and equality through the art of drag. Get into those syllables. First of all, I would like to say thank you so much to Marco Marco Underwear, not just for everything that you've done for me in my career, but for the dick that I'm looking at right now from Mike, the cameraman. He's wearing gray sweatpants and <sighs> you know the rest. Perfect. <laughs> I met Marco through Shangela and Shangela gave me his number because um, I was looking for someone to make a dress for me. I was in a band called Trans K and we had a cover with Frontiers Magazine and I was like, bitch, I want to wear something custom. All of my shit was like ready to wear so I wanted to really turn it up. I was watching Dancing with the Stars and he called me and um, I was like, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait, hold on, wait a second. Only oh. because you told me to call you. I said call me. Only because you were like, call me and then I did and you were like, Give me a minute, cause Dancing with the Stars is on. Yeah. And then for 10 minutes you were like, oh my God, oh my God, oh, oh bitch. No, she did it. Yes, she did. I'm passionate about my programming. I don't know if you guys know this, but it's hard for me to pick a favorite Marco outfit because I own all of them. <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, my favorite design is Marco. Period. It could be garbage and I'll wear it if my brother made it. Walking one of Marco's shows is unlike anything else in the world. It's the most inclusive brand that I've ever seen or known. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, Marco's a trailblazer of all the trans in fashion. Oh, bitch. Okay, this was collection two. Okay, it was uh, LA Fashion Week. It was everything. And uh, my dream move was to always be a supermodel because I was built like one. Just no one ever gave me the opportunity. Just not in the body. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tell you Yeah, get out. We got ready at a hotel room, like across the street from like LA Live or wherever it was, some like big like moment. Um, and it was all of the queens. And this is the first time we had a Marco Marco show. So it was like, everyone really didn't know what to expect. And you had like, I had like a door in this room. I had a, a Mayhem over here. Raja was over here. Matthew Anderson, Courtney, Willem. I mean like, all, all of my BFFs, all in one huge suite, um, mixed with all of these hot fucking boys. So there was like debauchery being had. It was literally like a pre-party. It actually, now looking back, is, is so iconic for me, especially in my life, and so important to me to, so important for me to have experience. Um, this at such a young time in my career, you know, I wasn't on Drag Race. I, I, I wasn't feeling like I was being seen or heard really until I hit a Marco Marco runway. So um, I owe a lot of self-confidence and I owe a lot of, um, uh, of like thank yous to Marco for that because I never really felt important until I walked Marco's runway. And now let's get into my dirty laundry. <laughs> um, and I can pick any of these, Anyone right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna pick these because this is obviously what you're wearing. <laughs> what is my favorite look Marco has ever made for me? My favorite look that Marco has ever made for me has uh, is my meow cat suit uh, that I had made for my song with Todrick, and it's next level, like Julie Newmar motherfucking wishes. Michelle Visage wouldn't like it because she doesn't like uh, chaps with with um, bodysuits, but bitch, that's what I wear. So, sorry Michelle. What's something you got away with that you should have been arrested for? <laughs> Bye, we were at here lounge and this motherfucker would not stop touching my brother's fiance and I told him, back up. You're not about to touch her no more and he just kept on eyeing, kept on looking and blah, blah, blah. It was last call so we were like leaving. And before she was leaving, he goes to grab her and she like did one of these and I saw that and I was like, oh, hell no. And I looked at him and he looked at me and I just go, Bow! right in his face, 
fell to the floor. I feel so bad for him because I have thick knuckles. He lost a tooth that day. <laughs> he didn't deserve it. I felt bad, but you know what? I told you, stop. How did I start doing drag? I fell in love with it through seeing Raven um, at 7969 at Peanuts, and I was like, ooh, bitch, I wanna be a queen. Like, I wanna see what I would look like. I went to Riverside to find the hottest drag that I could, uh, cause that's where it was. And I saw Mayhem, and I was like, Oh God, I had chili, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you were a dirty pig oh! woman. This is my family. This is like, I can't, can't have nothing nice. We went to Upland, sought after a drag mother, found Mayhem. I was like, ooh, bitch, I saw her do how many licks. She got into the uh, pond and she was splish splashing the water everywhere. And I was like, I want that bitch to be my drag mother. I asked her to be my drag mother. She said no. I went back the next weekend. She said no. I went back the next weekend. She said no. And then finally she said yes. She gave me a checklist. And um, which was basically like your own mascara because I'm not trying to get pink eye. I don't have your skin color, so get your own and get yourself a size 13 pump because you're a monster. I got those things. I went to her house. She entered me into the competition. I did Jennifer Lopez Get Right, and Raja was the host of that show. Um, Raja just, um, she told me I was a supermodel, and she went backstage and uh, got to know me, and uh, I got two drag mothers that night, Mayhem and Raja. It's all their fault. Where is the strangest place you've gone to the bathroom? Um, in someone's planter outside of their house. I couldn't hold it. Detox was like literally throwing up while I was doing soft serve. What is the worst drug you've ever done? Three days ago, I was roofied by one of my good friends with trail mix, um, which I don't know if you know what that is, but it's uh, I still haven't talked to him. What is the meanest thing you've ever done to someone that didn't deserve it? I told you, I knocked that guy's tooth out. How did I lose my virginity? In the back of a Tacoma outside of my high school in a park overlooking the stars. And he was co-captain of the wrestling team. Ew. What are your top three turn-ons? Confidence, uncut cock, and paying attention to me. Have you ever gotten too drunk during a show? Absolutely, on all of my 20s. There was this one time I was doing Lady Gaga Alejandro at a Cherry Pop in West Hollywood and oh honey, just YouTube it. YouTube it, bitch, bye. What is my secret kink? I'm kind of really getting into stool. <laughs> Mostly relieving myself of it. They just have to eat it because I don't want to smell it. Who have you loved that didn't love you back? My ex, no, that's not true. He loved me. Who didn't love me though? That is a question. I feel bad for the person that answers that differently. <laughs> well, now that you know a little bit more about me because I've aired my dirty laundry. <laughs> Well, and Marco's. Go down here to the link below and get your own pair of Marco Marco undies. Add Marco Marco underwear on Instagram. My name is Ray Latre, drags baddest bitch. Woo -woo! And I'm out. Yeah. <laughs>